cool. Now, from ultra music to ultra art, we took a trip to Langa in the Western Cape, where French street artist Jace has teamed up with locals in a very unique community upliftment project. Let's take a look. Langa, one of Cape Town's oldest townships, sets the scene for a community upliftment project called Ultra, which gives local artists the chance to show off their skills and give back to the community at the same time. Ultra stands for Uplifting Langa Through Reachable Art. It's part of Ikaila Langa's um, aim to attract investment into Langa and create jobs by making the area cleaner, greener and safer and just more attractive as a space. It's the third year for the street art competition and um, the first year we ran the competition along the Langa Stadium wall that you can see behind me. We were hosting a market and we used this facility as a car park and the long walk down was past this drab wall and then once I set my sights and I thought you know what we could do something with this and I thought how can we improve the community provide an opportunity for street artists to do some work. And so the street art competition was, was born and this is the third year we're running it and it's got some, it's attracted some really nice talent, some good talent. This year, a total of 17 street artists were chosen by a curatorial panel and were given the task of painting a section of the wall outside Langa Stadium, which makes it the biggest event yet. We started the first year and it's grown organically through word of mouth. And then part of the feedback from last year was that some of the professional artists felt that they would like to have um, a professional take in terms of judging the work, because there's some really good quality stuff here. And so I was approached by the um, Alliance Francaise, who said to me that they were bringing over a French street artist, very, very famous, who just finished painting the Pont des Arts bridge, that famous bridge that had all the locks on. He's a super cool guy. He's our artist in residence for the week, staying in the Langer Quarter Homestay, one of our, our social enterprise businesses, and is also a VIP judge um, for the DRA Global Langer Court Street Art Festival. Having been commissioned to paint the world-renowned 150-metre-long Love Lock Bridge in Paris, Jace was the perfect candidate to judge this year's Langer Quarter Street Art Competition. I love this uh, locked uh, bridge and a gallerist asked me to, to paint the, the Pont des Arts and commission this work. I said, yeah, of course, in Paris. I wanted to represent the Parisian cliché because uh, this bridge is a famous place for tourists and uh, I wanted to represent the way tourists see Paris and uh, Parisian uh, bad mood, always uh, <laughs> Parisian are not easy to live, but in a funny way, you see. On top of judging the competition, Jace also hosted daily workshops for up-and-coming street artists and painted some feature murals as part of Ikaya Lelanga's transformation of the Langa Quarter. It's very difficult to judge uh, artwork because it's very personal. Each artist uh, expresses something very strong and it's difficult to say this, this one is better than this one. It doesn't mean that uh, his piece uh, of art is uh, awful or is not good. It's, uh, just my, uh, my feeling, my uh, feeling about uh, the guys that won and that I prefer, but uh, uh, the other one is not bad. Don't take it personally, it's not a matter of competition. It's not, uh, it's, it should be first a passion that you live and that you want to share with people. With total creative freedom, a 2 by 8 meter stretch of wall and five days to complete their murals, each of the artists produced their own unique piece in an attempt to claim the first place prize. My piece is about land reform, but it's set in the way future. So this guy comes from a, he says, on this journey, the next one says, um, oh absolute, awaken us with mercy when we get back, when we take back our land. So it's like a calm, it's like a story. There's a lot of other people who just need to get some awareness and if I can play a part by putting a message out there, then why not? Last year when I came here, it was actually my first kind of township experience. I expected it to be diverse, but what I came and found was, wow, totally fell in love with the place. There's so much diversity. And, and through previous mural experiences, uh, I've also noticed how inspired the youths get they really love the art, so, so I came back and after, after seeing last year how much youths are and how much um, the longer quarters are doing for the youths, you know, I just had to come back. I have three figures so far, 
the far left is a Maasai woman, and then in the middle it's a, a Khoi woman, and then over here it's the, the Osa initiate. I'm, I'm not finished yet, I need to, to still do the, the Zulu warriors still in there. So it would then depict a bit of, a bit of a diversity from Africa. But not that it's that I'm focusing specifically on Africa because here is not only Africans this year. It's like oh, it's like you know international up in this building. You know the message kind of says it all: diversity, diverse people unite, and that's you know what we need in this time. You know, because unity is strength. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.